மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் சேனல் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் அருணா சண்முகவேல் லெட் எஸ் சி எ மோட்டிவேஷ்னல் கோட் தெர் ஆர் நோ சீக்ரெட்ஸ் டு சக்ஸஸ் இட் இஸ் தி ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் அண்ட் லேர்னிங் ஃப்ரம் ஃபெயிலியர் In this video, we are going to learn about the features of occipital bone. The occipital bone is an unpaired bone. It forms the posterior part of vault and base of cranial cavity. It has got three parts, squamous part, condylar part and basilar part. The squamous part has external and internal surfaces. The external surface shows a small rounded prominent elevation at the center called external occipital protuberance. The most prominent part of this protuberance is called inion. The external occipital crest runs from external occipital protuberance to the posterior bar of the foramen magnum. It gives attachment to ligamentum nuchae. A pair of nuchal lines extend from the external occipital protuberance upwards and laterally. This is the highest nuchal line. It gives attachment to epicranial aponeurosis. Another pair of nuchal lines extend from the external occipital protuberance straight laterally called superior nuchal line. This line separates the scalp from the back of the neck. The investing layer of deep cervical fascia is attached to this line. The medial one third of this line gives origin to trapezius and the lateral two third receives insertion of sternocleidomastoid and splenius capitis. A pair of inferior nuchal lines extend from the middle of the external occipital crest. Between superior and inferior nuchal lines, semi-spinalis capitis medially and obliquus capitis superior laterally are attached. Between inferior nuchal line and margin of foramen magnum, rectus capitis posterior minor medially and rectus capitis posterior major laterally are attached. The internal surface of squamous part is concave. It is related to the cerebrum above and cerebellum below. The internal occipital protuberance is a rounded bony projection in the center of this surface. From this eminence, cruciform shaped lines radiate superiorly, inferiorly and transversely. The vertical lines above the internal occipital protuberance is the sagittal sulcus which gives attachment to the fox cerebri. This lodges the superior sagittal sinus. The vertical part of the lines below the internal occipital protuberance is the internal occipital crest which gives attachment to the fox cerebelli. This lodges the occipital sinus. The lower end of the internal occipital crest forms boundaries for a triangular depression called vermian fossa. It lodges the inferior vermis of cerebellum. The transverse lines from internal occipital protuberance give attachment to attached margin of tentorium cerebelli. It is related to the transverse sinus. The internal occipital protuberance is related to confluence of sinuses called torcular herophily. In this confluence, the superior sagittal sinus, straight sinus, occipital sinus and transverse sinus are meeting. Above the transverse sulcus, there is a triangular shaped fossa to lodge the occipital lobe of cerebrum. Below the transverse sulcus, there is a quadrangular fossa to lodge the cerebellum. The upper fossae are protected only by the scalp and thick part of the occipital bone. The lower fossae are protected by the muscles of nuchal region. The lower fossae are thin-walled. Let us see the borders of squamous part. 
the borders are superolateral border or parietal border inferolateral border or mastoid border the superolateral border articulates with posterior border of parietal bone to form lambdoid suture this suture obliterates at the age of 45 the inferolateral border articulates with mastoid part of temporal bone and forms occipito mastoid suture the angles of squamous part are one superior angle and two lateral angles the superior angle is the meeting point of two superolateral borders and related to lambda before 6 months of age it forms posterior fontanelle the lateral angle is the meeting point of superolateral and inferolateral border and related to asterion before 6 months of age it forms the posterolateral fontanelle in the next video we will discuss about the condylar and basilar parts of the occipital bone along with ossification of occipital bone shall we wind up the session with a quote it's not the load that breaks you down it's the way you carry it thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon select all to get instant notification